You know what? We had a we had a pretty explosive offensive day, and that was that was fun to see. You know, we jumped on them early, and and you put four runs up in the first. You feel really good about it. You back it up with another four run inning, um, and just when the game kind of lulls a little bit, we put a three run inning up. So that that is as uh, as fun of offensive day as we could have imagined by the whole order. You know, you look down and and everybody contributed in some capacity. I think nearly every spot scored a run. Uh, except for Correa, who got three hits. So, um, overall, really good performance. How about him? I mean, what's I mean, what's new about him? He finds a way to get in the middle of it uh, every single game. So he's 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 certainly uh, um, one of the best hitters in the league. He shows it every day. The production again, kicking us off with a three-run homer, um, really did did ignite us uh, as he usually does. How happy have you been with what Preston has done since he got back? Yeah, I like that he's contributed right away getting back here. I think it helps his confidence. I think it it uh, it certainly gives me more options as as we start to to navigate the playing time. Um, but you know, anytime guys when they get sent down to the minor leagues, it's a it's a terrible day in my office, and and more so, it's a terrible day in, in a guy's career. He goes down. He works specifically on things that 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 he and we feel like can make can can build him back up here. Um, and when he comes back and you, and you see some of that um, play out, it's, a, it's gratifying. It's gratifying for him because he's worked for a couple months. And you know the, the worst day in the big leagues is, is probably better than, than riding the buses in the early planes in the minor leagues. And so um, I'm real happy that he's come up and, and produced. How's the Marwin doing? He's doing OK. He had a, uh, a left ankle sprain. It hit the bag awkwardly. and. Uh, and came up a little lame. So obviously, with the score and the in the in the timing of the game, it was an easy decision just to just to bring him out precautionary. Our trainers uh, told me after the game he'll be day to day, and and uh, we don't feel like it's anything serious, but it was enough to take him out of the game. It might have been against one time, but did you think the out the point of the out on Trout in the third inning was a big spot there for five? So I thought the third inning was huge. Um, to have bases loaded, no outs, and to have only one run. You know, Gomez came over and took the fly ball away from Tucker and kept him at first and second. The left fielder's going the opposite way. So we could have easily had first and third there, but Gomez makes a good defensive play. Fires makes his pitches, um, you know, to Trout, to pull. You're at navigating the middle of their order with the bases loaded and, and nobody out. That's not, that's not easy to do. And, and that was their chance to get back into the game, to make it 8-2, to 8-3, to 8-4, to four, uh, or worse for us. So I... I think those getting out of that with one inning, or one, I'm sorry, one run, we answer it right away in the bottom of the third inning. Um, you know, made for a for for a better feeling in our dugout. What did you think of Byers out? You know, I, I was I was really happy with him. I thought he came out with a with a more aggressive mindset. I think he has body language was good. His his tempo was was up a tick. Um, he looked like a a man on a little bit of a mission to to to, to pitch well um, and take command of the game early. Uh, unfortunately, he left one ball up late, and, the, and he gives up the home run, which will leave a little bit of a bad taste in his mouth at the end of his outing. But seven, run, seven innings, three runs, um, some long innings that he had to wait from for in the dugout, which no pitcher usually complains about, um, makes for a, for a good outing. Let's say there were the white spikes. Kind of a fitting tribute to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's cups, there's a couple homer games in the in, in Griffey's career, and. Um, you know, there were a lot of white spikes out on the field. He, he had the best game with them on. So, um, but yeah, it's fitting to, to, to any, any of our players. I think I, I love the fact that, that more and more nowadays are today's players are starting to tip their cap to, to the stars of yesterday and, and the respect that, that is uh, uh, definitely warranted on the players that have, have paved the way for these guys to play this game. One last thing before we go. Uh, tomorrow we're going to make a transaction and, and we're going to designate for assignment Danny Worth and we will be purchasing the contract, contract to Alex Bregman. He'll make his Major League debut tomorrow night um, against the Yankees. Will he be in the lineup? We'll see. We'll see. Got to gotta come and see. What was kind of the uh, why now, I guess? Um, you know, we've been flirting with the idea as everybody has, uh, has, has been looked at and we, we, we feel like this is a good time to, to add him to a good team. Uh, we're rolling along pretty well. He doesn't have to come up here and be anything but himself, and and contribute at a couple different positions. We wanted a couple extra inning or innings in left field at third base. We accomplished that over the weekend. It's never going to be enough when you're trying to teach somebody uh, a different position. But uh, we feel like his time's now to come up and, and add whatever he can to a 
a good clubhouse, a good team, and and uh, and and not have to carry the weight of the world on his shoulders as a as a young player. Did you see the things you needed to see from him as, uh, from the plate, uh, hitting wise? I mean, he's been pretty productive. Yeah, he's been dominant in the minor leagues, and that that you know he's answered every test that we've given him. He's the big stage of the uh, of being promoted to AAA, the big stage of the futures game, the. Um, you know, being followed around virtually every place he can go in the last 10 days to two weeks. Um, he, he's, he's answered every challenge. You know, he's going to enter a clubhouse with some guys that have gone through that before. Um, he's got some great mentors that he can, he can lean on when he gets here. But, um, again, we don't need him to be Superman. We need him to be Alex Bregman's pretty good player, pretty exciting moment to be able to promote a guy. He can come up here and, and lend a helping hand on a team that's, that's trying to play some pretty good baseball. You already said this, but where will he play? I'm not sure yet. I've got to look. I mean, now with Marwin's ankle, I've got to I've got to see how that how that's going to affect things. He's you know he's capable of DH and playing third, playing short, playing second, playing left. Um, he's not going to play in the middle infield tomorrow. So it'll be one of those other positions. I will I will have him play tomorrow and 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 kickstart what we hope to be a productive major league career.